one. Okay. Hey y'all, this is Carolyn back. Um, this is almost a four weeks past uh, spinal fusion surgery, spinal reconstruction. So I didn't do a video last week weekend because I slept all weekend. And uh, I guess my body was preparing because this week has been the worst. It's uh, actually been worse than when I had the sciatica in the fall and everything. So um, let me get back to my two week appointment. That was um, last, not this past Monday, but the Monday before. So when I went in for my two week appointment, I learned that the expectations I had were not realistic because I was watching videos and testimonials of people who did not have the major surgery that I did because some of them were walking two miles in two weeks and I'm like, I'm not there yet, I'm not even near it. So uh, mine is gonna be a much longer recovery and um, I will probably not be doing a whole lot online besides updating you for, for now. Um, 12 weeks is probably the, the date they're giving me to get all these complications worked out. Six months for bone fusion and all and to keep wearing the brace, which I have under a shirt today. So I haven't bulked up, it's just the brace. So, um, that is, that is where that is. So i you're not going to see me on Facebook for, I might hop on in a, a bit or two, but not much. Um, like I said, this week has just been the worst week for pain. Had a lot of, uh, restless leg syndrome, but it's not really restless leg syndrome. It's a symptom of what I've got going on. Probably the nerves mending back together. They cut through so many muscles and nerves that, um, so that's causing me a lot of pain now. And um, they did give me something called a bone stimulator last week. So it's a little friendlier than the brace. It still looks like a miniature brace. So I typically wear it, I have to wear it two hours a day and it helps my bones grow where they did all the fusions. So where they get all those screws and rods. Uh, let's see, trying to think. I just, I'm not gonna go into the detail of the pain and stuff. It's, it's just been bad and we really need your prayers for that. And nighttime's always the worst. And pray for my husband because he, he hangs in there with me through this. I couldn't get through it without him. We could not get through it without our church, Buena Vista Pentecostal Holiness Church, Buena Vista, Virginia. They have fed us now for two whole weeks, come up and prayed with us and just been a rock for us. Um, we, we couldn't have made it through without them. Um, and I guess that's about it. Can you think of anything, Timmy, that I'm missing? No. So, I was not out here. She's in there snoozing, so she's not on this video. We'll try to get her on the next one. Um, so, if you have one of these surgeries and you have like weird feelings in your legs or your hips or something, it, it's a lot of it is just knowing that that stuff's been cut through and it's got to mend on its own. And it's, it's time, it's going to take time. This is not going to be a fast process. So, um, God bless y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for being faithful. Um, even though I'm not in the ministry group on Facebook or anything much, thank y'all for still being faithful to me and to a mountain of faith. And um, keep, keep us in your prayers. See you next time.